Is the online coaching world saturated? In this video, I want to discuss the changing landscape of the online coaching world. I speak to a lot of coaches who are concerned, whether it's PTs considering moving into the online space and not doing so because they think that it's just too busy, or online coaches who have been trying to get ahead and just say that the reason it's not happening is because the industry is saturated. Let me share something with you about saturation. If we use the word saturated, it means a lot, crammed in. Every industry is saturated. Every street is saturated. Think about this for a second. Go down the street, high streets and city centers, there's lots of people. There's lots of shops. You might say that cities are saturated with shops, saturated with coffee shops, saturated with restaurants, saturated with clothes shops. You might say that the online coaching space is saturated, basically meaning there's a lot of people. Every industry has a lot of people. And let me tell you this, it's actually the fact that the world is saturated with a lot of pretty mediocre. So there's a lot of low-level restaurants, there's a lot of low-level clothing brands, there's a lot of low-level everything. In the legal world, there's a lot of low-level um, legal professionals. In the building trade, there's a lot of cowboys. In the online coaching space, in the personal training industry, there's a lot of us, but there's a lot of coaches that are not very good. As a result of that, you see a lot of people. You see, what's so important to understand is where do you want to fit? You see, the title of this video is, is the online coaching world saturated? To the point where it's more than likely put you off. And you're blaming the fact that there are a lot of people in the world doing the thing that you want to do, which is why your work is not getting seen. I'm going to take you back 12, 14 years. You know, when Facebook and Instagram started, there was a lot of people, not enough, not as many people as there are now. And engagement was crazy. I'd post a transformation. I'd get loads of clients. Maybe let's go back a few years and we look at lockdown when everybody was at home and they wanted fitness and everybody was signing up clients left, right and center. And then the online world started to get busier and busier. And over the last year or two years, more and more online coaches want to become online coaches. And you look around, you go, well, everybody's doing the same. Everybody's trying to get clients. I speak to coaches all the time. I say, you know, on our live calls in our coaching program, I say, put the number of people in the chat box right now that are talking to other coaches when they come on sales calls with you. And out of hundreds of people on our live calls, there will be a small handful of people say, oh, there one or two or three, as in people that will actually say that other people are talking to other coaches, which basically means your target audience are only following you as their fitness professional that they're inspired by, they're learning from. So what does that tell you? If your content is not being engaged and you're not getting enough clients, are you going to sit there and blame the fact that there are a lot of people doing the same thing? Or are you going to try punch through? You see, I could say that there are a lot of business coaches out there. There are. Over the last five or six years, in my honest opinion, every man and his dog who's managed to build a 10K a month business wants to then start doing business coaching. doesn't mean they're an expert at business coaching at all. It just means that they have decided to add business coaching on to their coaching for some extra revenue. And it's mean that it means now that there are a lot more business coaches out there. So what does that mean? Well, what once was a landscape that a select number of us occupied meant that if we wanted to be regarded as the same, we stay the same or we elevate our program. We elevate the service. We build our team. We elevate the brand. And then we punch above. You see, I look at it like this as layers. Next year, there'll be a load more business coaches. There'll be a load that can't maintain easily. And I see them come and go. Much like you will see online coaches come and go. But if you give up, you'll be another one that just falls by the wayside. You see, the most important thing to understand is that it's going to keep getting busier. There are going to keep having being more business coaches. There are going to be more online coaches, which basically means that the reason why you are struggling is because you see yourself the same as them. I don't really see many business coaches. I could take my time and listen to my team and tell me how many there are, but I don't pay attention only to the ones that I see at my level, which means there are less. I look at business and life like a pyramid. Are you playing at this level of the pyramid? Are you playing at this level of the pyramid? You see, as you climb, it's less saturated. There's less people. But the game you're playing right now, you're here. So you see all the noise. 
As you start to punch up and punch up and punch up and punch up, there's less people at the top. So what do you have to do? Well, this is what I'm noticing in the industry at the moment. There's a lot of mediocre coaches who are delivering a very mediocre service and delivering very mediocre content and presenting zero results. Just wanted to stop the video for two seconds. Now, if you find my content helpful and you want to learn more from me, you want access to resources, you want more free trainings and live weekly webinars, then make sure you click the link in the description. Make sure you head over to my Impact and Integrity free Facebook group. Now, let's get on with the video. That's the bottom end of the pyramid. And that's why you're seeing a lot of other people are out there, okay? What I feel needs to happen if you don't want to see a saturated industry is you need to understand one thing. What happened four or five years ago was that you could post transformations and post your training and have an inbox of people coming on board. What's changing is with there being a lot of people out there, people are seeing a lot of the same things. What does that mean for you? You need to become better. So rather than being a standalone restaurant, Italian restaurant, you can start to bring in a better chef and start to deliver better food. And then you go up the level in terms of what people perceive you as. Fine dining or just general day-to-day -day food. I sit in the fine dining. What have you got to do to, the, to play in this game as an online coach? You've got to do something which a lot of online coaches don't understand. Four or five years ago, online coaching was post pictures, post training videos, um, post pictures of you and you'll get clients. Understand that building an online coaching business is a process. Posting photos and getting clients is what used to work. As the industry has become busier and busier and busier, you see personal training, turn up to the gym floor, you'll get clients. I went to a gym in Italy only last week. It was 29 personal trainers on the gym floor, actually on the wall. And I went, you can't turn up in that gym and just walk around and talk to people. You need a proven system and a structure and a strategy to get clients from that gym floor or else you'll get swallowed up. Online coaching in 2024, you need a process. You need to build a coaching brand, which means you need to document, you need to showcase results, you need to have high quality content, you need to have a content strategy, you need to have high standards and service, you need to have sales systems in your business, you need to understand how to build an online coaching business step by step by step. It's saturated with coaches who refuse to study. It's saturated with coaches that are happy to deliver mediocre results. It's happy with coaches that do not walk the walk. It is saturated with coaches that don't learn how to get results with their clients, who are uneducated and are just posting their own training. That's what it's saturated with. And when you start to punch up that pyramid, you'll start to realize that there are coaches who have exceptional coaching brands, who know their stuff because they've studied how to be a great coach. They've got great results. They're putting quality and detail into the quantity and quality of their content on a week-to-week -week basis. Now, I'm sitting in a studio right now, investing in the quality of my content and planning and putting it out and scheduling it out because I want to punch above and continue to punch above. We're working on the quality of the results. We're working on how much we invest into our live events for our clients. That's what puts me in the higher bracket. We're constantly working on the team, developing the team, developing the program, developing the service, developing the systems. Are you at the bottom of the pyramid investing very little into knowing how to do it, investing very little in your knowledge to be able to become a better coach? Because if you are, you're at the bottom of the pyramid. So the online coaching world will look saturated to you. Let me tell you this. I arrived in London last weekend, last week for our live event. If I walk down the high street and I'm looking for fine dining, particularly Marleybone, it's not saturated. There are normal high streets, but then there are one, two, three, four, and I can see where they are. They stand out. But then when I'm walking down the street, the shops, the normal low-level restaurants, I don't notice them because they're not on my radar. I was looking for high quality restaurants, high quality food, high quality ambience and environment. And that's when you start to notice that that's not saturated. The cream of the crop has risen to the top. So my question to you is, do you want to play your game in what you feel right now is a saturated market? Or do you want to start playing the game higher up the pyramid? It's your choice, but it comes down to whether or not you're going to apply yourself as a business owner and then learn the exact strategies and tactics and branding and results delivering coaching brand online that's going to help you punch through.
your choice. It's a pretty direct video I wanted to share with you today, but it's the truth of somebody that's been doing it for 24 years and teaching fitness professionals how to build a business that's here in the next 10 years time as well. I hope you found this a value, a help. And uh, as always, if you're listening, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, click like and subscribe. Click the link in the description if you'd like myself and my team's help to get you to where you want to be. If you're listening on iTunes, make sure you want some help. Click the link in the bio on my Instagram page. I look forward to hearing from you. Look forward to helping you take your business and your life to the next level. For now, take care and I'll speak to you soon.